On today's episode, we'll be talking about stabilizing silk organza. Hi, I'm Annie. Welcome back to my studio again. On today's episode, we're going to be addressing stabilizing with silk organza. And the reason we're doing that is in response to a question from one of the viewers from a recent tutorial episode that we did. And um, the question was, how was I able to stitch through the three layers of silk organza without it distorting and bunching up under the machine? So we're going to address that right now and show you when you can and cannot stabilize. So let's talk about when you would or would not want to stabilize with silk organza. Um, if you don't stabilize, you gain the transparency effect that you're looking for. Um, unfortunately, it is more difficult to handle and um, the stitching can distort. So there's pluses and minuses. If you want to stabilize, you reduce the transparency, you have more opacity, but the stitching is a lot easier and it doesn't distort. And now let's talk about when you do stabilize. And uh, here I've got my three layers of silk organza and um, I'm going to stabilize, but I'll lose some transparency. But if I'm not too concerned about that, that will um, give me the advantage of the stabilized product to stitch with so it won't distort. And here I've got the image in between my two layers of silk organza. And um, we'll talk about how to print onto silk organza in a, in a um, a later episode, so you can check back for that. And um, what I've done here is I've used a product called Steamaseam as my stabilizer. And here it is, you can buy this. There's several other products you can use, but I like this one because Steamaseam, you can actually um, peel off your image that you've placed down and replace it. So you, it's very forgiving. If you think you've, you've got it in the wrong place, you can pick it up and put it back down into the right place. Once you feel like you've got it in the right place, then you can put everything together, take it over to the ironing board and fuse it all together before you start stitching. So now you've got a very stable piece that you can uh, not worry about distorting when you take it to your sewing machine. So I hope this has helped answer some of your questions um, and given you some more ideas. If you have any more questions for me, please get in touch. Um, I'd love to uh, talk with you. And if you have any f ideas for further episodes, I'd love to hear that too. See you on the next episode. <laughs>